Hi everyone! Today I want to introduce you to an old friend of mine, but beware, because he's a vampire and he sleeps in this coffin. Are you ready to meet him? Okay, hold on to your seat, here he comes. And you can also use him as a pencil case. Put your pencils in here and put him on your desk. In fact, bring him to school. He'll look great on your uh, school desk with his uh, coffin right uh, next to him. Do you want to make him? Okay, this is what you'll need. Two kitchen rolls. You know, one of those toilet rolls, but longer. And, <laughs> surprise, yes, they need to fit into each other like this. So collect enough of them until you find two that fit uh, into each other. Then you will need some brushes. Yes, there's some painting involved. You will need some paint. Yes, yes, paint. A bit of glue, a uh, ruler, long or short, a small piece of solid cardboard, a pencil and preferably also a white pencil, something to cut with, a piece of sandpaper, and a bit of filler mass. Bit of tape is always good to have. Oh, I think that's it. Well, let's get started. We start with the two uh, kitchen rolls. What is important is that you cut it to roughly the size of your pencils. If your pencils are about this long, the length should be a little bit longer. So about here. So let's measure this and see. I found out that about 20 cm is a good um, length. For the biggest uh, roll, it needs to be 20 cm, and the smallest roll need to be about 19 cm. That means slightly smaller than the big one. Let's uh, start with cutting them. But first, we're going to use my super tool, uh, the uh, toilet roll ruler. So I put it on the mark here, uh, making sure it's uh, nice and uh, even all the way around. And then I make my mark. So that's where we need to cut. That's the small roll. And then for the big roll, there, get my cutter out and then carefully cut it. There, next one. Now, let's see how they work. The thick one is longest so that the uh, small one can go inside by about 1 cm roughly. Next, we have to start shaping them into a oval tube. See, now they're too sort of round. They need to be a bit more oval like this so that the vampire can come out and into his coffin like this. So we need to shape him a bit, preferably like this, one at a time. You can also use something to stretch the sides with so you get that sort of rounded sides. You can keep on working at the shape a bit until you feel that you, you got it. It's supposed to be about that sort of oval shape for both of them. Then let's see how they fit. This one goes inside here. Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Next, we need to paint them. The big one is black and the uh, small one is white. So make sure you get the right one now. The biggest one is black. We do that first. Okay, done. Now that's the coffin. And then the small one is white. And that's the vampire. And now they need to dry. And while it's drying, why don't you add me on Snapchat? Good. Now we need our little piece of uh, extra cardboard. We squeeze the tube so that they're sort of in that perfect oval shape. And then you put them down like that and then trace around. Same on the other side. Make sure that these are as equal as possible in the shape. Then the white one, same thing. Squeeze until nice oval 
shape and trace. So you end up with two for the black one and one for the white one. Then you cut them out. And I have here two black and uh, one white. So they're already cut. Now let's glue them on. I have poured some glue into this little container. Uh, it's very easy to actually dip it into the container like this. Soak up quite a bit of glue and just well that's actually quite that's actually a bit too much so i'll take off a little bit but uh, quite a lot of glue and then put it right on the um, cardboard cutout and make sure that the cardboard cutout covers the whole thing so you got to squeeze a bit on your tube to make sure that it uh, matches the size and the shape of the cardboard cutout. Wipe off a bit of the extra glue. I advise you to hold it there for a little while until the glue sets. Not until the glue is dry, but until it's kind of setting and uh, becoming a little bit uh, stiff. So hold it there for a little while. Then I add some tape on all four sides. Then we glue the other side. Finally, the white one. And when these are dry, you remove the tape and they will look a bit like this too that I made earlier. Then you will have the issue with the edges. You see the edges sticking out here. We need to make it nice and smooth. So we take our knife and we cut uh, carefully along the edge until it's um, even. Then we use a sandpaper to uh, sand it nice and smooth along the edge and around the top. Okay, good. Now we need to uh, paint up uh, the edges here so that they are perfectly black and uh, white. And the white one. There, now they need to dry nice and dry now we need to open up the coffin so i'm uh, gonna cut off the top here i measure a 1.4 cm and i have to make a few marks so that i get it even all the way around so 1.4 1.4 and 1.4 so now I can draw a fairly even line along here and then we cut. Nice one. So now comes the very exciting moment. We need to see if this one fits inside here. So here it goes. Yes, beautiful. Oh, I can't wait for this uh, vampire to come out of the coffin. So this one goes here at the open end. So here is closed, here is open. So this one goes here like this. So let's glue it on. I put a bit of glue along the edge here, quite a bit actually, so that uh, the glue also fills up the little gap there. So this one goes on here and make sure you position it in the middle. Try to make it in the middle all the way around so you don't leave any big gaps along uh, the edge here. That should be it. And now we need to wait for this to dry. Next, we need to check the little crack in here to see if it looks good or not and it doesn't look too good. There is some obvious cracks there. So that's where the filler mask comes in and then just fill in those ugly cracks there. That is to make the um, vampire just look a lot better. Now, while waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna prepare the coffin. So I'm gonna sand a little bit along the edge here to make it more smooth and get those rough uh, bits away. And the inside we paint black. As you can see, it's a bit of a messy process, but uh, hey, you may enjoy it. And then just wash your brush and your fingers afterwards. Good. Now let's have a look at uh, this guy again. When the uh, mass is uh, dry, you use your sandpaper again, then make a little fold like this. So it's sandpaper on both sides and then go carefully along the edge making it nice and smooth. 
Now we need to check that the two pieces fit together. So here we go. Beautiful. So when we know that, time to open up for the uh, pencil case. I measure here from the bottom, 1 cm, and the opening is 8 cm, like that. And then up here it's a little bit curved, like this, and down here it's a little bit more straight. And then a little curved again on this side and on that side. Now, let's cut this out. Oh, nice. Let's give it a little bit of uh, sanding as well. And then we paint the inside bright red. We probably need to uh, dry it and then paint it twice so that uh, the bright red color will look really uh, bright and solid. When this is dry, we can start drawing the actual vampire. So I'm now gonna bring out my original vampire and see how it is constructed. First, we need to find the middle of the tube, so we need to measure. So Roughly the tube is 5 cm wide, so I go for two and a half, make a mark here, try to position it right, it's a bit hard, but you can do it, two and a half, there. Now that's the middle, so I draw a line down this way, so that is the center line of the vampire. So now, if you look at it, uh, he's very symmetrical, so you can start with uh, this line over here. That's there, and then this line over here. So that'll be about there. Let's see that these two are kind of equal. 2 cm, 2 cm, yeah, that's roughly good. Then you can see the distance from here to here, about 1.7, so we do 1.7, that's there. And then from here to there, that's, 1.1 so we can see here the hairline it goes from here and up into a point there and then down down to this line down to this line then from here it goes up and up there so now we have the outline on the face and uh, chest so uh, let's do the chin it goes up like that, then the shirt down and across, the tie, a circle here. Actually, it's not a tie, it's one of those evil scarves that Dracula is wearing. It's not a tie, it's a scarf, bad scarf. Then we can go up and we can do the ears actually. We can do this ear first, pointy evil ear. Then we move over to the eyes. One on this side. Get them as even and symmetrical as you can. Then the really bad eyebrows. There, the nose. Actually, the nose should be a bit further down. That's all right, about there. And finally, the mouth. Straight line for the mouth, and then a bit up in the corners of the mouth. And then the fangs. Okay, looking good. Now we do the hands. One line straight down here and the same over here and then just look at the shape of the hand It's a very simple shape so we just go very simple shape then one line across for the shirt and three lines down for the fingers there now is the time to draw up the lines and I'm using black paint and a very 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 small brush I'm mixing it with a little bit of water, just a tiny droplet of water. So I'm starting with the mouth. Notice that I'm supporting my hand against the table so that I can keep a very, very steady hand when I do this. Now, luckily I have one that is already uh, finished and uh, painted. So now let's continue with covering the blacks. As you can see from the original, there's a lot of black around here. So let's move on to that. Then I use a slightly bigger brush, still very small, but just slightly bigger. And then I start filling in uh, all the blacks uh, next to the lines like this. Also black along the edge here 
and on top of this uh, little lid uh, thing and along the edge and all the way down and all the way at the back the back is totally black as you can see from this one here is totally black so just paint it all in there now this needs to dry and while it dries let's have a look at the coffin the coffin needs to be painted like this make sure that the ends are there and the openings are here so uh, let's have a look first we need to measure 2 cm from the bottom there and then as you can see it's just like half a cm from the top so that's about there uh, then it's um, 3.5 wide so we need to find the middle again so I put it at 3 and 3 then I draw a center line here so this center line will guide us to get the decoration on the coffin drawn right. So up here we draw a straight line and a straight line down here. Then we draw a line down on this side and one on this side. And then when we come over here we make a curve, same on this side and same down here. There, so that's the shape that we need. Next we are gonna add the handles to carry the coffin. This side, two circles, two small circles. Down here, two small circles. And in the middle. Same thing on the other side. And then the handles. Okay, let's paint it in. We'll go with the gray lines. I think white would be too strong, so I'm going for a medium dark gray instead. And I'm choosing a light yellow for the rings. So they look like they're made out of brass or gold or some metal. Like this. And then I dip it in a whiter mix. And then I do the actual handles. Here I have one that is all finished painted. So that we can continue with the skull. Sketching it in lightly. Just a round thing here. And then going out into the mouth and some teeth. A nose and scary round eyes there then I paint that in using a very very light yellowy mix mostly white but with a little bit of yellow next I need to touch up on the white lines left by the pencil so I just using black paint and then removing easily and finally and the little nose that I missed out of when I uh, painted the skull there then we are ready to touch up the vampire himself a bit of white paint to touch up the uh, pencil lines we need to remove them before we um, complete the painting and now we can color him in so I'm starting with a bright yellow for the eyes now if you go over the black lines sometimes that's all right because you can always touch it up with black lines uh, later there then a bit of red on the evil scarf and finally the highlights in the hair and that is just two little tiny little small lines like this oh nice hairdo beautiful now it's ready but if you compare this to the uh, original you can see that this one is much more shiny and polished looking and that's because i've put on lacquer lacquer will protect the surface of your make and make it stronger and more beautiful and more durable so since you're gonna take this you know in and out many 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 times it needs that bit of lacquer to give it durability let me show you how to put on the lacquer it's very simple i got lacquer in here it's acrylic lacquer the same as you use when you lacquer acrylic paintings such as fine art so we uh, dip it a bit in here and then we just apply it like this just like a regular painting and as you can see the the black color becomes much more solid after adding the lacquer can you see the difference from here to here it's a big difference isn't it so yeah add on the lacquer and bring out the beauty of the colors so here's how it works you put your pencils inside basically when you want to take pencils out it's like this it's standing here on your uh, school desk then you know you just pick out pencils they keep on sort of falling out like this 
uh, as you keep on picking very simple they don't need to be all red of course you can have any type of color when you want to put them in it's very simple you go like this put them in a bit two by two roughly obviously you can also use this as a candy collector you know you put your candy in here once the candy is full okay you close the lid and off you go with your candy so it's many uh, different uses for this fantastic vampire coffin so folks you keep on looking out for those vampires and keep on <laughs>